Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel for all of my friends here, and welcome to all my new friends. Today we are going to be playing Spirity for the first time ever. Spirity is a live sim RPG kind of game, the cute little pixel art style. They're branding themselves as similar to Stardew Valley for Stardew fans, but there's clearly a strong emphasis on Japanese life and culture, and I believe there's a bathhouse element to the game. So, I'm just gonna jump right in, we're gonna play together, and see what we think. I have not played it at all, so I'm pretty excited. It's kind of loud. It's a bunch of little people and a bus. And here comes people on the bus. Welcome. What stop will you be getting off at? Press E to progress the text. Um, enter the town name. So what's what's the name of the town that we'll be getting? Um, we'll be stopping. Okay, let's see. Um, Oh, actually, I can't just type. I have to do, um, like this. I love the word Hana, like a flower. Um, let's say, should we go like Hannaville or, uh, Hana? Sorry, my cat's asleep in the little bed next to me, and it's very cute and very distracting. Alright, we're just gonna call it Hana Town, like a flower town. For the first time, I didn't like go with uh, something kind of ASMR -y themed. <laughs> Normally, I say like Whisper Town or something like that. This bus does go to Hana Town, okay, but we're in for a long ride, so we're gonna get comfortable. This being on the bus and all that reminds me of. Um, when you start, oh, I didn't. When you start in uh, Animal Crossing City Folk, I'll give myself some long dark hair. I'll make my hair black since everyone says that my hair looks black rather than brown. <laughs> uh, I like the red too. I think, like, probably just. I don't want to be all matchy-matchy. Let's go with the blue. It's actually quite pretty. And do I want to wear a hat? I do not want to wear a hat. Um, fantasy author. I can't change that. Mmm, that's my title. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I finished customizing. I'll pick my birthday. So, winter, spring, summer, fall. My birthday's in the winter, so I'll go with winter, and I usually pick the day I was born, so we'll say winter 18 is my birthday. I pick my name. Um, we'll, we'll say that my name is Jubilee. But when you started up in Animal Crossing City Folk, you started on a bus, and they were like, what town are you going to? And they're like, what's your name? And if any of you ever played City Folk, then you you know what it's like. Okay, let's take a seat. Ah, okay. Crazy how different I look from everybody else who's kind of just an amorphous, genderless blob. That's how I feel some days. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here we go to Hana Town. Town of the Hanas. The music so far is really pretty. Oh, I should say that I was sent uh, a key to the game by No More Robots. Um, so, it's not a paid sponsorship, but they just offered me the key, and it was a game I already knew about, and had on my little kind of game wish list. You know, I keep like a mental list of any relaxing games, cozy games, life sims, farming sims, everything that's up my alley and that fits on the channel. So yeah, I already knew about Spirity, and um, it just came out, and I'm pretty excited that we could play it today. 
Also, I found out the game is Steam Deck verified already, and that's fantastic. I think it might be the kind of game I might enjoy playing more on the Steam Deck than on the PC. Um, I think like the Life Sims and the cozy games like that, they, they often suit a Steam Deck really well. Hi, I'm Jubilee, who are you? This is Miko! I'm so glad you made it in one piece, thank you Miko! I suppose proper introductions are in order. My name is Miko, I believe we spoke on the phone on the other day. Wow, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I do not remember speaking to you. Welcome to Hannah Town. It's really quite lovely here. I do hope you'll enjoy the time you spend here. We received all your luggage earlier today. I had my husband Quill help me get it safely to the house you'll be staying in. I'm afraid I may have sullied his first impression of you, as I hadn't carried the heavy things. Oh, great. Speaking of, let me quit yappy and show you to your home. This way, please. Why am I here? What's my... I'm a fantasy author? Is that true? Did I buy this house? My, and you're always just given a home whenever you start up any sort of game. You never really had to work for it. Who inherited it or something. Um, it looks nice. Let's not insult Miko. Oh, this is Miko's home. Okay, weird prank. Just remember the red roof. If you need to see myself or Quill. Is this my house? Nope. Is this my house? Also, no. This looks like a store. And this is his bicycle shop. I would like to have a bicycle if I want to explore the nearby area at the very least. A little exercise to the body, some good. Very true. I love biking. Oh, looks like we got a karaoke bar. Fantastic. This is pretty much the extent of the downtown in Hanatown. I'm sure it's nothing like the big city. <laughs> but we've got everything you need. It's a restaurant. Tired of cooking at home, there's a karaoke bar, a chicken restaurant, a coffee shop, and Kenza runs a convenience store a little way southeast of here. I could talk your ear off about all the residents here and how kind they all are, but Quill did warn me that you've had a long trip and to <laughs> keep your yapping to a minimum and let the newbie sleep. So let's get you home. Omiko's really sweet, really lovely, makes me feel very at home. Go under a little bridge. How cute. I do really like the art. I really like the look of the game. It's very comfy. And I love the character portraits. I love a good character portrait. This is my home. Well, I'll be honest, it looks a little run down. The pictures I posted online were taken just last week, so it should all be accurate. I don't remember seeing any pictures. Oh, one thing you might find different is that we tend to leave our doors unlocked. We don't usually have any crime here, although there have been strange occurrences lately. Interesting. Well, there aren't that many of us living in town. What I'm trying and failing to say is that Hana Town is very safe, and I sincerely hope you enjoy this slice of the countryside. Feel free to visit your neighbors where and whenever you please, and I'll be happy to get to know you. What if I'm the crime? What if you just invited, like, a thief <laughs> and then told the thief, Hey, we all leave our doors unlocked. <laughs> then I'll leave you to it. I set up your food on this morning, and you should have everything you need. I saw you have an old teapot in the cupboard. Maybe you can try out some of the locally grown tea? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I'm leaving now because even I can tell you I've not had on for too long, can I? Let's go check out our house. Oh, it's much bigger on the inside than the outside, like the TARDIS. So here's my bedroll, and there's even kind of kind of a little courtyard. My kitchen and the pantry is really cute. Is this? Oh, it's been a long day. The game's like, go to sleep. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'm going. Yes, I want to go to sleep. I like that tick of the clock. Oh, someone's at the door. Hello. Hello. Hi, Amelia. Ah, oh, you must be Jubilee. Oh, don't look so surprised. Miko's already told you all about. <laughs> told me all about you. She's not really one to keep gossip to herself. I see. Anyway, I'm Amelia, the other town granny. Oh, I get two. That's awesome. It's a pleasure to meet you. I came by because I wanted to welcome you to our little town and drop off a few things. First off, in case you're hungry, I got a rice ball. Thank you so much, Amelia. 
It's an old family recipe called rice ball from the convenience store. <laughs> That's very funny. You can eat that delicious morsel by pressing left shift, which is great for restoring stamina. But why don't you set that down on the table there for now because I've got something else for you. Can you imagine if someone said that to you in real life? Just press left shift to eat that. <laughs> now this is from Miko and it's a mixed vegetables, egg, and rice. She forgot to give it to you last night. You don't have to eat it now if you don't want to. Why don't you throw it in that backpack of yours? Yeah, I'll just throw this bowl of rice in my backpack. Press C to put the held objects in your backpack. Very nice. But wait, that's not all. I saw someone say that on the television. I was just trying to be flashy. I brought you a brochure of activities that you can do around Hanatown. It comes with a map too, which I'm sure you'll find useful. Okay, let's look at the map. Oh, this is so cute. So, last night we came from up there and then we went left. There's the red roof house where uh, Miko lives. We crossed a little downtown, went south, and I live on this little plot right down there. And there's quite a bit down here. And there's always more up here as well. And then there's clouds over here, which kind of makes me think it's an area that we will later discover. And with all that, you should be good to go. But, uh... You're a writer, correct? Yeah, apparently I am. Doesn't look like you've got a place to sit and work. Yeah, I kind of should have thought about that, shouldn't I? I wonder if we might have something in storage over at the shop. It's my daughter's store, but I help out every now and then. Why don't we head over there and see she's got an old desk that you could use? That would be fantastic. All of this is just so exciting. You'll understand when you're an old fart like me. <laughs> the shop is nice and close to your new home. Just walk a little ways east and you're there. Let's go. You can open and close by pressing F, and then you can take stuff out by pressing E, and then you can run quickly by holding shift. Okay, go find the shop. Oh, she's following me. How cute. Oh, it looks like we got some rice fields here and some frog. <gasps> Look at this detail. I love seeing my own reflection in the water. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, hello, little crow. Here we are, shop. Oh my gosh, it's adorable in here. This game has a lot of heart to it. I think I hear song busy upstairs. Actually, I was supposed to be watching over the shop when I snuck over to your place. <laughs> Let me go ask her. She's got a desk that you could use. Who are you? Hey, you must be the newbie in town. I'm Moby. I run a coffee shop. Okay, Moby runs the coffee shop. Feel free to stop by for your caffeine fueled needs. I assume that that would give us more energy throughout our day. Jubilee, it seems like we've got a desk here for you. Oh, Moby, could you help Jubilee out and bring it over to their place? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you, dear. I'd better get back to running the shop, Jubilee. And don't worry about the desk. I'm just happy to see it be of some use to someone. Everyone here is very nice. I like the sense of community that they have. Uh, thank you, Moby. Where do you want this thing? Unless, of course, you like it just sitting in the middle of your room. I don't think I like it sitting in the middle of the room. A house organizer between the front doors. Oh, cool. So let's see, we've got traditional bed, side table, small desk. Okay, let's um move. Oh, I like this, nice. Well, it'll probably be real boring and just put it over here. Okay, they don't like snap or anything. Um, I'll keep everything else as is. I think... What? Moby, you didn't do that, did you? Yeah, you did. Thank the gods, I thought I was losing it for a second there. Did a ghost just eat my rice ball? Listen, Jubilee, I'm not sure if anyone's mentioned this to you, but Hanatown kind of feels haunted at times. Like, Sujin was telling me the other day that she's been hearing some strange noises outside of her boat at night time, and in my own apartment, I've got these, like, weird plants growing around my bathtub. How do you reply? Um, plants? That's very 
very strange, right? I mean, I clean this tub all the time. Weird things shouldn't be growing out of it. It reminds me of one of the Sims 4 expansion packs. There's like a, this alien thing and it'll start growing out of the toilet and sink and stuff. Anyway, your food was just floating and then disappeared in front of us. It's like this place is... <laughs> we got scared. Oh my gosh. How cute is that little animation of him? It might be trying to bring its friends. I, I think it's just an innocent person. Or wait, it could be trying to get out. Quickly, open it. Yeah, it's just a person. <laughs> Sorry to intrude. My name is Young. I run the temple at the southern tip of town. Yeah, we saw that on the map. I wanted to be one of the first to welcome you to Hannah Town. Well, you're actually like the fourth person, Young. <laughs> I hope that. Moby? Are you unwell? Young, so good to see you, buddy. All's well over here. <laughs> How very curious. Anyway, Jubilee, you likely haven't had much of a, much of a chance to explore the town and meet everyone just yet, have you? I had a word with my associate, John, this morning, and she's agreed to help you find and meet all of the locals. John, you meet she is a wonderful companion, and I think the two of you will get along swimmingly. Hmm, what was Moby saying? She's waiting for you just outside whenever you're ready. Okay then. I guess I'll leave it here, Jubilee. Be careful not to let Jan bite you. It's Jan an animal. <laughs> She's very kind. Enjoy your day. I'll stop by later to pick up Jan once you've familiarized yourself with it. Yeah, pick up. She doesn't like to be away from her brother Maru for long. I think John is like a cat. I just... Okay, the game saves when you go to sleep. That's good to know. Introduce yourself to everyone in town. You can find Jen to help you if you're having trouble finding everyone. Are you Jen? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Um, well... I, I think I'll try to find people on my own. It's actually- oh look, there's like a little bug down here. Is it chasing me? <laughs> I'll head north, back toward the little, um, city center. Oh, I like the sound effects, very nice. Uh, should we go in the restaurant? Alright, so, hello. Hmm? Who are you supposed to be? Me, I'm Julian. What's it to you? Okay, well, we met Julian. Julian's a bit grumpy. I wonder if I can go upstairs. Hmm, and there's someone else here. Hello. Are you new around here? I don't think I've met you before. My name's Julian. Pleased to meet you. Julian looks to be reading. Okay, well, Julian's a lot nicer than Julian downstairs. I think it's cute that you can go in the bathroom. It's nice to have, like, a realistic touch. Okay. Next door, the karaoke bar. Oh, well, hold on. First, I'll say hi to this person right here. Oh, uh, you must be the new person in town. I'm, uh, Sora. Pleased to meet you. Oh, Seraphine so seems very shy. Mm. Oh, the karaoke bar is so fun. Let's go upstairs first. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's actually in any of the... Uh, should I trek down this one? This is the bathroom. Okay, well, probably there'll be people at night. Maybe Sora runs it, actually. I don't know. Let's go meet Miko's husband. Ah, so you're the one Miko was talking about. Hmm. Welcome. And all that. <laughs> He's a bit grumpy. And there's a kitty here. Meow meow. Kind of blends in with the floor. Uh, well, we already met the guy who runs the coffee shop, but there could be someone else in it. Just, yeah. Just sitting here. Oh, hey, I'm Sujin. You must be the newbie in town. Yeah, we heard about Sujin. That was his sister, right? And I can't really. Oh, there we go. Oh. Who is this beautiful beast I see? I'm Tara. I live at the pension down by the southeast beach. Tara kind of looks like me <laughs> with the glasses. <laughs> oh, I think 
at all these fun coffee mugs. Oh, I just love the like ambiance and vibes of cafes. They're so cozy. Can I pet this owl? No? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me just look at the map. Oh, nice. Um, so shall we try going in people's houses? And it feels a little rude, but Oh, it's, it's neat that, like, uh, I like that the, it's dimmed inside, you know, these buildings when someone's not in it. I think that's a neat touch. Should I close the door? Gosh, I hope not. Um, okay, let's try this house. This is a really nice house. I'm starting to think there's no one here. No, I thought that stool was someone at first. Okay, I feel a little uncomfortable just kind of wandering around someone's empty home. Well, I'm not going to bother going in their house because I do already know I met them. Oh, there's someone. Hello. You must be Jubilee. I'm Faye, the local carpenter blacksmith. All right, I feel like me and Faye are going to be besties quickly. I'll probably be talking to Faye a lot. Also, I love that your name is Faye. Like, just wanted to see if Faye maybe works with anyone. Okay, we've met 14 people. Let's check out this little convenience store. Echoes. Echoes. Hi, Kenzo. I'm Kenzo. I work at the only convenience store in town. I'm sure I'll see you during your snack runs. And there's someone over here. Hey, you just moved in that place by the water. Oh, I'm Eric. Nice. Okay. Just 11 more people to go. Mm, where haven't we been yet? Um, should we try this big apartment looking building? Whoa, it is a fancy in here. Let's take the stairs for your health. Hmm. I don't see anyone. Oh wait, actually I do- No, that's not a person, right? What's that? Hmm, can't interact with it. Okay, going back down. Okay, what about the houseboat? No one in the houseboat. Didn't someone say they lived there? Was it Kara? Uh, we've been to the shop, so I don't think there'll be anyone else. Oh, should we go to this building? Over here on the right. I love all the little animals that are just out and about. This kind of looks like a school or a hospital. It is a school. There's quite a lot of kids here, too. Oh, you're a new face in town. Hey, I'm Bruce. Bruce, are you like the principal here? Oh, it's so rude that I'm just wandering into this children's classroom. Hi, I don't think we've met. I'm Kim. Kim, I am so sorry for interrupting your class. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think we can like talk to the kids. They might not be like proper characters, more like N like NPC kind of things. Hi, you must be Jubilee. The whole town is talking about you. <laughs> I'm Yumi. Yumi and Kim, two teachers. I already love them because, you know, I love teachers. Uh, it's like the libraries. Oh, there's someone back here. Looks like the school nurse. Hello. Hmm. You're the new face in town, huh? My name's Ling. Have you seen you around? Okay, Ling's the nurse. She seems a little cold. <laughs> and we've got another class in here. Wow, that's Clarence's portrait is something else. You must be the new resident town. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. My name is Clarence. Can I talk to you? Why is this, uh, is this like the high school? Is that why there's fewer kids? And, oh wow, there's a lot of, this is quite a big school for such a small town. Hey, um, what's with these teachers' portraits? I'm Toby. I don't think we've met before. Toby, why are you wearing a cowboy hat? 
And then this looks like the cafeteria. Okay. I don't see anyone in the like computer lab. It's a huge building. Oh, it's even like an auditorium. It's pretty cool. A lot of detail. And let's just go up to like the roof. Oh, that went back down. Did I really get that turned around? Okay. And uh where shall we head now? We should head south because there's clearly a lot of stuff there. Oh, that's so fun. Come on. Go. <laughs> oh, a little hermit crab. Who lives here at this beach house? Hello? It just- did it just update to 22? Or... I got five more people, and they're probably all in that southern part. It's so nice to just kind of walk around though, it's really pretty. I am getting like, frame dropping though. Which is kind of surprising for a game that's pixel art. Like, I don't know if it, the frame dropping is showing up on camera, it probably is. Much smoother now, but over by the water, it was a little rough. Okay. A, a dog counts as a person. Very nice. And... I'm at the temple, where Young works. But I take it he's not the only person who works here. Maybe he is. While we're getting down to it, shall I ask... Uh, doggy for help? Let's help me find Gail. Oh, okay, we're going. Oh, we're going. Other way. Dog, please. <laughs> please decide which direction we're going. Okay, I get the feeling we're going all the way back to town. If only I knew, like, which ones were where, you know. Wait, was that a person? Oh, there was a person. Well, great, now I'm gonna... Hi, see so you the new face in town, huh? I'm Tifa. I take care of the tea fields here in town. I'll come see me tomorrow. I'll give you a free sample. That sounds great. Okay, now to find the dog, whose name I've forgotten. Jen. Jen, where did you go? Sometimes the dog, like, appears if you... Oh, there's more people in here now. Oh, this is Song. And this little mister is Momo. Song and Momo. Momo's the name of a little flying lemur from Avatar. So, it's very cute. And who is this free spirit wander wandering into our little town? Jubilee, is it? Nobby Lay. So, actually, Gail is like the only person left that we haven't met. <laughs> okay, so we'll go outside and then you'll help me, yeah? Lead the way. I'm ready to follow you now. Oh, so there was someone in here, or at least there is now. Okay, we go upstairs, so you don't need to bark at me. Oh, in here. Oh, nice. Hey, I'm Gail. I work at the karaoke. Oh, you were on the karaoke bar. That's why we didn't see you. You probably works nights. And we did it. We met every single person in town. You both look like you had a long day. I hope your first impression of our little town has been a good one. Yeah, it has. That reminds me, Tifa, what, yeah, we did find that out. Stop at the temple anytime. Jen, Maru, and I all enjoy visitors and our doors are always open. Come on, Jen. Good night, Jubilee. Young gives me, you know, nice monk vibes. Airbender. <laughs> Man, they really don't want me walking around my own home. They really want me to go to sleep. I even tried making tea yet, but I guess that maybe that's for today. See, Tifa, about the tea sample. So, can I go out this way? I, oh, look, now it tells me the time and all that. It didn't tell me yesterday. Oh, 
before you lay. I always get a bunch of sand stuck in my yoga mat. It's not a big deal when you live in a van though. So you live here? Okay. Oh hey, look at that! Now there's like a little friendship thing. I like that little visual reminder, that's kind of nice. Um, how do I get over there? Let's say hi to the doggies. I think I should say hi to the doggies. Woof 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 woof. How come this doggy likes me more than that doggy? And I spent all day with that doggy yesterday. Kind of rude. Maybe we didn't have a good time. Ah, uh, there you are. As promised. Here. You've got the fresh tea leaves. Many objects can be picked up, carried, and dropped. Use E. An item can be eaten, used, or have some sort of function, which you can perform by pressing left shift. Remember, if you have space in your backpack, it can store it by pressing C. I get my best work done in the morning. Oh, hers is moving quite slowly. Uh, well, I'll put it in my backpack for now, and I can take a look at my backpack. I thought I could look at it by pressing C. Hmm. Oh, F. There we go. Mixed veggies, my tea leaves. Okay, so let's uh, take that back home and see what we can do with it. We're gonna try to make some tea using the old teapot, which I think is the little thing on the right side of my screen. And we live quite close. Okay. Place the tea leaves in the teapot while facing the teapot, interacting while holding the tea leaves. Okay, so I will hold them. You want to add the tea leaves to the teapot? Yes, I do. You add the tea leaves and water the tea to the teapot. Seems to be heating up super naturally. What? Mm, how long do I wait? <laughs> it's heating up super naturally. What is happening in this game, you guys? Do you want to drink the spirit tea? Yeah, that's the name of the game. You drank the spirit tea. Can I now see the spirits? Stupid, feeble creatures. So selfish. Leave him. Wait. Can you see me? <laughs> you can, can't you? This, this is, I'm supposed to be, be, be guiding. How long was I? I can't believe that even I became lost. May, you'd never let me live this one down. Wait, who the heck are you? I'm Jubilee. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got problems. We? Yes, we. You live here now, don't you? This town is crawling with troublemaking spirits. They're what's called lost because humans have stopped worshipping, leaving offerings, or even thinking about them anymore. Fortunately, I'm not as weak as those other fools, although I nearly lost control. Anyway, you can call me Wanyan, and since you appear to be somewhat spiritual, you're going to help me get things under control. Near around here. Oh my god. <laughs> Even Jeepley's not impressed with that pun. Also though, look, you can come here to mess about with spirits. Oh, I get it. You mortals live short lives and fill each day with things that bring you happiness. The truth is, I... No. We need you. Damn it. Are you really going to make me back? There are already so many lost spirits who don't even remember who they were. They need your help. You'd be like a hero to them. You mortals like being called heroes, don't you? Fine, I'll help you just because you look like a cat. You're very cute. <laughs> That's more like it. I think I have a plan that just might work, but first you need to see something. Let's set up the mountain. Look for the stairs at the eastern part of town. I'm very intrigued by what's going on, and so far I'm all in. I love it. Okay, Eastern side. Tanya, we just keep going, I think. We just keep going. I love that the day and the time and all that's in like a bento box. That's so cute. Oh, I've gone past it, 
it? I see now. Up here, right? in the mountain. There should be stairs on the east side of town. Yeah, that's what I'm going up. And left or right? Looks like, looks like a little house to the right, but I think I go left. Yeah, okay. Wow, I think this is a bathhouse. It certainly looks like a bathhouse, and like I said, I did hear that there would be a bathhouse from this as well. It used to be a bathhouse for spirits. They would come from far and wide to enjoy the purifying waters of the mountain. Spiritual people such as yourself used to look out to the spirits and run the bathhouse, but it's not all for charity. The spirits would in turn offer some of their wealth they receive from the shrines throughout the world. But as you can see, the bathhouse has been abandoned. The last bathhouse keeper was a spooky girl. In fact, she used to live in the house you just moved into. Yeah, he mentioned a May. I don't know how I how long she's been going. Oh, that's actually really sad. The spirits need you to become the next keeper of the bathhouse, otherwise they'll become more and more lost and cause more and more havoc to the people of Hannah Town. Why me? Don't kid yourself. It didn't have to be you. Anyone with a lick of spirituality would have done, but you did come, and you can help everyone, spirits and people alike. So you're in them. Good. Glad we're all on the same team. Then, if we're meaning to get this place up and running, we'll need to first open her up. If I'm not mistaken, I left the key with the spirit who has a fondness for sweets. Find the spirit, and we'll find the key. Go somewhere that has a lot of sweets. But whether or not you'll be able to see the spirit is questionable. We can deal with that later. For now, let's head to a place with a lot of sweet foods. Like the convenience store had ice creams. Also, the restaurant probably possibly have sweet foods. We'll just go to both, won't we? a lot of sweets. They would have, you know, cakes and sort of like that. Oh look, the bird switched posts. How cute is that? You're not the spirit, are you? Okay, I don't think so. Um, there was an ice cream like stand, right? Maybe there was not. Okay, next I'll check the restaurant. I think most realistically it is the convenience store. Which I can't remember where that is. Uh, okay. Down here. The bike. There's some houses. There it is. There's a lot of ice cream here, so I kind of figured. Mmm, this place looks promising. Try using your spirit vision now. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I had a spirit vision. The ancient people in your house infuses regularly for spiritual properties. Use enter to peer into the spirit realm. Whoa! Hey, not bad, mortal. You seem to be figuring it out pretty quickly. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let's find the spirit. I think I see two spirits here. No, I wasn't trying to look at the fridge. No, no, not that one. I haven't tried the one with the camel yet. Ooh, that one is so good. Hey, check out this mortal. They almost look like they're watching. I knew I'd be able to find you if I thought with my stomach like you always do. It's the fuzz. Let's cheese it. <laughs> what in the world? Don't just stand there, catch them. I'll use what little power I have to help you keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. 
Normally your spirit vision causes the gauge on the right to decrease, but if one yan is helping you by preventing the he is perfect. On normal circumstances, drinking spirit tea, you may not depart and sleeping or punish the spirit gauge. Alright, where did they go? Oh. Ah, oh, the spirit is super quick. Yeah. You stopped me though. And now I don't know where they went. I was right on it, but I didn't press E. Oh my goodness. Come on. I like that we have chase music. Come on. I'm not too good at this. Uh oh, I think I ran over that rice and that was maybe not good of me. What are you doing, you little text? We just want to talk to you. So I have to do this three times. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pressing E because. Oh, come on. You better hope we don't catch you now. You've gone and ticked me off. Fun times over, clown collar. Revert back now. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you two? What? Who? One, yeah. And which one of you peanut brains is the key to the bathhouse? Key. The key. I remember. One yawn and a key. One of you better start talking. What kind of. What are they gonna turn into? Oh, aren't they cute? I have the key. I remember now. I'm called Father Rock. A and I was known as Aurum. I don't know which one's which, but. One yawn. Oh, I'm so sorry I failed you, my lord. It seems I forgot who I was, but I never forgot your task for me. I have kept the key safe all of these years. Here, you must be the new keeper of the baths. You got the bathhouse key. What? Why are you holding it up like that? Can't everyone just act normal for a moment, please? As for you do, this mortal here named Jubilee, correct? I'll agree to get the bathhouse up and running again. I expect to see much of you and your kind there regularly. Yes, of course, one young sir will be there. With friends. With friends, of course. <laughs> Gods be down. Those fools gave us the runaround, didn't they? Yeah. Well, whenever you're ready, let's head to the bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. I'm ready. Let's go to the bathhouse. How do I see my uh, energy, I wonder? Well, let's say hi to you. Sorry that I was just kind of running around crazily earlier. It's a new year. I'm gonna make some big plays. Why are you so shy? I always like to befriend the shy ones. Well, actually, I like to befriend all people whenever I play games like this. Nope, these stairs were here. I think I can hear Faye working the blacksmith. I like how my hair, like, swishes side to side. On the mountain, head to the bathhouse. On the mountain, head to the bathhouse. On the mountain, open the key to the bathhouse. Oh my goodness, it's a mess. Oh, it looks awful. Sniff. Ah, yes. This brings back memories. I get the feeling it's been in better condition. You have no idea how important this place is, Jubilee. The spirits around here are in bad shape. You probably can't see most of them just yet, but believe me when I say they are up to no good. And unfortunately, it's the townsfolk who are suffering for it. Right, so with those happy thoughts of mine, how about we start doing something about it? First things first, follow me. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the bathhouse. It was built centuries ago and has served as a sanctuary for spirits ever since. One thing you've probably noticed is that you can see me without even using your spirit vision. It's not entirely known why spirits can be seen here, but it likely has something to do with the very rare tree that was planted in the courtyard of the structure. Over time, the tree grew to enormous proportions and has exerted its special properties upon the building. 
Anyway, I don't know for the history lesson. You need to keep the bathhouse running smoothly and to guide our, essentially, customers to their spots in the baths. Spirits will pay you, depending on their bathing experience, which can be affected by many things, including follow me. Including water temperature. This is the boiler for all, f all of the baths in the room above us. You have to keep this thing burning so the baths can stay hot. <laughs> Where's Mr. Boilerman when you need him, right? Your source of fuel for this baby is right here. Cut a chunk of this tree root for fuel. Hold E when facing the saw to cut. Oh, wow. How long do I have to do this for? Oh my gosh, that was a huge chunk! Look, it's growing back! And voila! The tree magically regrows its root. I'm sure the tree doesn't like you doing this, but bathhouse keepers have cut the same root over and over for centuries, and this is just a hunch, but it seems like the tree here is doing just fine. And new one thing, and sometimes it's hard to read the way it's written, to note is that this root's ability to regrow depends on the spiritual presence of this whole area. What I mean is, the more spirits we shut down and smack sense into, the more healthy the spirit tree becomes. Which means more roots are growing, and therefore more moolags. <laughs> if you don't see the root regrowing, then you'll probably have to wait. I'm sure it'll be growing again after you've slept or something. Ah, okay. Anyway, then I log in one more into the boiler and then come meet me upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna throw this one, and then I'm gonna. I'm really getting spirited away vibes. I really feel like we're Chihiro running the bathhouse now, which is amazing. I love spirited away. Um, you know, I first saw it when I was a child and I watched it a lot growing up. And it's creeped me out, but I also simultaneously really enjoyed it. Good work. I'm glad to see you can follow simple instructions with your work ethic in my brain. So we can have this place running in no time. I'm making lots and lots of moolags. I'm, I take it that's our money, or like our currency. That's the little M in the top right corner. See the shrine here? Should you see the bath temperatures? Have you seen the temperature dropping? You better go and add more. It is dropping. Oh, we're, wow, we're already opening. First we need to make sure we've got some clean towels. So that the spirits use. Uh, spirits need towels? No, so it makes sense, precisely. I'm glad to see you're starting to grasp how this all works. Come on, let's see if there are any towels still. If we're lucky, they won't be too moldy. Yeah, I'm just kind of assuming they're gonna be gross. Why wouldn't they be? Are these are the towels. Check that towel box. Well, I just tried to do that. <laughs> when spirits are done with their baths, they'll leave their towels in the box on their way out the door. As you might have guessed, use E while facing the towel bin to check for towels. Yeah, I just did that. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. There's some towels left. Let's get them cleaned up. <laughs> Look how many I'm carrying. That's so funny. Go oh, this way. Is this where I clean them? Do I put them there? Do I put them in there? Welcome to the washing uh, kitchen. I suppose we know where to come up with a name for it. Let's just call it the prep room. As you can see, things here also become quite overgrown and unusable. Uh, fortunately, that's not the case for the wash tub and heating vents. Throw the used towels in the wash tub and give them a good scrub by holding down E. Keep washing until you've cleaned at least four of them. Okay. Okay, here's one, two, three, four. Yeah, excellent. Take the wet towels and then we gotta hang them up to dry. Remember, towels only dry if you've got warm air flowing through the vent. If you're not burning any wood in the boiler, the towels won't dry. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. There they go. The towels will take some time to dry, so it's important to be as efficient as possible. There are always things you can be doing while running the bathhouse keeping the boiler hot, cleaning towels, cooking for spirits when you've hired someone to clean this area up scrubbing spirits with a brush, 
All of these things will affect a spirit's happiness and therefore affect how many moonlocks they will leave, even thanks. Piece of cake, right? Right. Yeah. You're a lively one. I can almost smell the moonlocks now. Right, let's bring those dry towels to the bathhouse entrance. Oh yeah, they finished up. I mean you. You bring the towels. Right, yeah, don't help me or anything. Time does not seem to be passing while I'm in here. Are they dry? No visible mold? Perfect. Drop them over this green bamboo mat. Oh no, no, this mat doesn't exactly look clean. So when they visit, they'll grab a towel from the bamboo towel zone. Make sure you do your best to always have some fresh towels for the spirits to use. I think we're ready. Ring the bell to open the bathhouse up to spirits. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> right on time. You've got your first guess. Take their towel from them and lead them to our only bath that is currently ready. If you ever don't want to see a particular spirit, you can always bring the towel back to the entrance and the spirit will leave on their own. Seems kind of rude, to be honest. I don't recommend doing this often, though. Not if you want to make moolags, anyway. Well, there will be times when a spirit is too large for your baths. Yeah. Or might ruin the bathing experience you've created. In those cases, just give them the boot. They'll come back later. Anyway, grab the spirit's towel and seat them in the bath. Chop, chop. Okay. Let me take your towel. And... There you go. Look at you. You're nice and happy. You can always tell the spirit's mood when standing near them. A happy face means their happiness is improving. But an angry face means their happiness is on the decline. Once you're seated a spirit in a bath, they're in there for the duration of their stay. This means if you place a spirit next to a spirit they dislike, ooh, you won't make as much money as you could be. You could remedy this by making an extra effort to improve that spirit's mood, back scrubbing, giving food, adding elixirs to the water. Or if you're busy, you can just accept this blunder and move on. Interesting. The most important thing to know about running a spirit bathhouse is this. Spirits will belong to a particular season. Spirits enjoy sitting next to spirits from the season after theirs. On the other hand, spirits dislike sitting near spirits whose season is opposite their own. That's interesting. Okay. Ugh, oh, you would be. I must have a peanut for a brain. Okay, how about this? If I recall correctly, the two spirits we chased around town were spring and fall spirits. So you probably don't want to sit them near each other. Figuring out which spirits belong to each season will take a bit of trial and error. Or, wait. You might be able to consult the old spirit information towns, but those have likely been buried for centuries. <gasps> How do I dig? That's one other thing I should mention. Come here for a second. I noticed it when, when the previous bathhouse keeper was taking care of the place. The ancient tree that grew out of the courtyard of this bathhouse seems to react to how pleased the spirits are when they leave after their bath. I've seen this tree root grow as more and more spirits leave after having a fulfilling bath. It's possible something important might happen when the root grows to a certain length. I don't know. I'm usually more focused on how much money the spirits leave us. Okay, I'll leave you to figure out things on your own. Ring the bell again if you want to close the bathhouse. Spirits will still pay you, but not as much as if you let them enjoy their whole bath undisturbed. If you're tired, you can always go home and sleep, which saves the game, whatever that means. Oh, and don't forget to collect your earnings from the money bought by the front entrance when you're done working. I think I need to add more a heat. Yeah, look at that. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, are you just gonna follow me? Okay, so I've now been in char put in charge of this bathhouse. Okay, it's regrowing. Taking a little while. There we go. So I don't think I'm an author anymore. I think I'm a bathhouse keeper. How are you doing? You're doing okay. Let's go seat our other customer. So they look, this one looks the same. So I'm going to put you just like over there just kind of further away and 
this one looks like the other one that we saw. I don't know what they are. You are also pink. So I'll just kind of put you over here. There's no more towels, right? I need to get some more towels. Okay, let's go clean some more towels while we... So we've got three pinks. Maybe pink... We saw the pink one and then we saw the kind of red one and that was spring and fall. Maybe pink is spring and... Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's let that... And then one, two, oh, we only have two more. Can they fit? No. I think I need to wait for these towels. I really enjoy this whole running a bathhouse thing though. That's, oh, it's really nice. It's a nice hook for your gameplay loop. Um, because while I enjoy Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. Well, I enjoy farming games. Sometimes I want to play a cozy farming sim style game that doesn't have farming. So just like a regular life sim. And this is perfect. Wait, you've got... you look different. No, I know you don't. I thought that the yellow... Oh, he's bigger. Wait, you don't have room? I'm kind of confused. Oh, there we go. That was odd. And you. And then this guy is close to being done. There we go. So we have all, they're, they're all either spring or fall, and then that one. They didn't even follow me. I'm putting that there. I'm gonna go get my other two towels and then hopefully that guy will have left. Because they're taking a really long time. I mean, I understand that you spend a long time in a bathhouse for sure. Oh, okay, that guy left. So we got paid. That's nice. Oh, there goes the money. Follow me. Please, let me seat you. And I can now seat you. So you're another of the red ones. And I don't know where you want to sit. So they didn't like sitting there. Mm. Uh oh, there's no heat. There's only a tiny, 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 tiny bit left. I don't want to, like, run the bathhouse all night. I guess I should run it until... night time-ish. Those bathhouses feel like more of a afternoon-evening thing to me. And Spirited Away, the bathhouse was only open at night. I don't fully understand the system yet. Okay, I'm gonna seat you. I'm gonna seat you here. I feel bad that those two don't like each other. Um, I didn't know what to do. I'm gonna take the dirty towels and I'm going to clean them. I wonder if we're gonna have like a set amount of customers today. I don't know if that's the case. Or if I just would do this forever. One, two, three, four towels. Hang them up to dry. Go check that you're doing okay. Everything's doing 
doing okay. There's plenty of heat. getting sucked into it. <laughs> it's a great cozy game. And I feel like I've gotten to what the core gameplay loop will be. Oh, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Alright. I'm gonna pop you down here. Then I'm gonna go place you. I've only ever seen the two kinds of Spirits the spring and the fall. It's growing, right? Pretty sure, at least. And you. Is that noise the branch going? I don't know. It's plenty hot still. You don't have a towel, right? We only have two more towels, but oh wait, you're about to leave. Maybe I'll just collect your towel. I want to find that book that, um. Nice, I like that I could. Oh, one more. So they didn't have an amazing trip because. They were sat next to the person they didn't really like, and it's definitely my fault. Um, he did even say, like, don't seat them next to each other. They won't like it. As they're opposite seasons. So I don't really know why I did it. Okay, one, two, three, four. And is there anything else to do here while I wait for my towels to dry? How about I collect my money? Or should I collect my money at the end of the day? It's like a... Yeah. I'll go ahead and I'll collect my one last towel and I'll just get that one ready to go. Yeah, I enjoy how cluttered the world looks, if you know what I mean. I love a cluttered look. Oh, I can tell that it's getting dark. The sun's going down. So maybe we should close at sunset? How about I let these be my last four customers before I close? I'll just kind of wait them out. Okay, so you go here. You go here. You go here. And then my last one. And then, unfortunately, you guys are not going to make it. Oh. That thing has grown a lot. Look at it. Take a look at my log. Oh, I think... Oh, but look at that. It has not regrown. So we definitely need to stop. So there's kind of a natural stopping point. Alright. Then I will just kind of stand here and wait. See, you're almost done bathing, you're getting close to being done bathing, you're about to leave. You're about to leave and then we have a few more. Oh, what's that? Why did that? Reminder, feed the spirits, make them happy, drop the wood, raise the temperature, happiness is money. We can scrub them. How do I scrub them? Um, I don't have like a broom, right? Okay, you left and you were like happy, right? Mediocre? They look happy right now. So it makes me think, but I did feel like I was running out of... No, the fire's still burning, but it's just like not a lot. Yeah? Why is the gong, like, continuing to ring? Is that when someone leaves, the gong rings? And then the branch grows? Let's see. 
Let's see if it grows after that spirit leaves happy. Yeah, it does. So do we want it to reach this point, maybe? Are you guys still doing okay? You all look happy. Yeah, relatively happy. Maybe I should clean some towels for tomorrow. It's 9 p.m. Definitely should be heading back to, to sleep. Maybe sometime soon. One, two, three, four. I'll watch four towels at a time because it seems like you can only hang up four towels to dry. I don't want to put the clean towel over there because then some other spirit's gonna think it's their turn. You guys still doing okay? Okay, maybe leave soon, guys. Okay, so now it looks like the heat is starting to go down. Yeah, there's no more, so it's still hot, but it's like going down. Come on guys, finish up your bathhouse experience, please. Go to sleep, leave my bathhouse. I hope you had a nice time, little spirits, time to leave. You can come back tomorrow, go to sleep, little spirits, I will see you tomorrow, goodbye, enjoy your stay, and have a nice day. There you go. They look a little sad when they leave though, which is, I don't know, maybe that's not a bad thing. Okay, so... There's like one more and he's leaving and then I will ring this bell There's our money Close the bathhouse and send the spirits away. Let's collect our money We made almost a thousand moo- I don't remember what they're called Moo- moo- moo gods or something That was our first day of running a bathhouse. I thought we did pretty good. I'm heading back to my house. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm not sure what the fastest way back to my house is. It's awfully dark. Ooh, come over here. I've got something to show you. Oh, okay. Kind of thought I was going to bed, but evidently not. <laughs> You see this board here? This is the town board. It's where the locals like to post all kinds of things. However, more recently I've noticed them posting concerns that are very peculiar. I know this town is crawling with spirits, and I have a feeling that a lot of the concerns posted here could be linked somehow. It's probably a good idea to check this board out periodically. If my hunch is correct, and of course it is, then we'll be able to find many more potential customers for our bathhouse. Ah, very cool. Let me take a quick sneak peek. Any tips for keeping wooden bathtubs free of mold and plant matter? Any recommended cleaners? Any advice would be appreciated. You can find me on the third floor of the apartment or the coffee shop, Moby. Moby did mention that stuff was growing. On a town vandal, keep an eye out for a vandal around town. My boat is covered in graffiti and your home would be next. I reported to the police, but there are no leads so far. Sujin. Well, that's a shame. They kind of talked up how safe Hana Town is, but <laughs> I guess not free from city kids just having fun. Alright, it's almost 11 p.m. and it is time to go to sleep. Yes. Oh, and now I get a little summary of my bathhouse earnings and all that way down at the bottom of the screen for some reason. Maybe because other things will be here on the screen. About time you got up. Oh yeah, I actually slept in like really late. It must be dependent on when time you go to sleep. I thought of something that can help you keep straight all the weirdness going on in Hana Town. Like some sort of journal or something. Did you just grow? Just got a lot bigger. Write down key information in the notebook. You know, stuff that's more than likely related to spirits causing mischief. Open up your backpack by pressing F. Oh, I still have 
to eat that. Try pressing C to switch to your notebook. Oh, here it is. Now what do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it. Oh, that was in the notebook. Is that really your notebook? Are you sure you didn't steal it from a child? <laughs> anyway, whatever. Moby told us something about his bathtub, growing strange plant matter, right? Try flipping over to Moby's page of the notebook. You can flip to the other pages by pressing A or D. Moby, Moby, Moby. Moby. Moby's bath, strangely covered in plants. See, when one of the locals tells you something that could be related to finding a spirit, that information will be recorded in this book. This way you don't have to remember everything. That's very nice, very convenient. Because, come on, let's face it, I've, uh, seen brighter candles burning in a rainstorm. Wow! So rude! Anyway, anywho, you can close the notebook when you're done by pressing F, nice and simple. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna call it, why is it? Hold on. It's 11 p.m. I, how long did we sleep for? I'm deeply confused. Why did we sleep for like one hour? I just realized I was supposed to adjust this. <laughs> we'll sleep for six hours. That's awfully early to be getting up. But <sighs> yeah, I, I now see that I, I can adjust how long I want to sleep for. Which is pretty nice. Oh, and it's raining. Wasn't that lovely? Okay. So, this has been Spirity. And honestly, I am very impressed. I would say I went in with low expectations or anything, but I just have played a lot of life sims, a lot of cozy games. This one really sets itself apart with the spirits and the bathhouse, and it's definitely a theme I very much enjoy. I think a lot of you do as well. So I will for sure be playing more on my own and hopefully enjoying it. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week. I want to say, sorry, this is a very uh, wonderful week for Cozy Life Sims, as I will be playing another in just a couple of games. Another game that released, well, it fully released. Uh, uh, it's been out for a while in early access, but it fully released lately. And it's also a game that I freaking love. I've played on the channel before, but we're going to be playing it again since it got its full 1.0 release. So, tune back in in just a couple of days for more cozy gaming, more life sims, more ASMR commentary, more relaxing good times, good vibes, cozy vibes only. Uh, I love you all very much, and please enjoy this new little outro. I will be featured at the end of my videos now, uh, thanking all of my wonderful patrons and channel members, and if you want to become one too, you can. Sleep tight, everybody.